Tonight on CBS 1910 at 10, terrifying moments inside a swimming pool caught on tape. Children unable to get out of the water after it becomes electrically charged. We'll show you what went wrong tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. Looking ahead this morning, today is the last day to vote early for the May 27th runoff election. Some counties say they're seeing low voter turnout. Smith County's elections administrator says about 2,000 people have shown up to the polls. That's a little bit lower than the average runoff, but she says polls are likely to get busy as early voting wraps up today. And if you can't come until Friday, just be mindful that you might have to wait a little bit. And I wanted to mention also about the parking that we have the main location. We have uh, plenty of parking places and you're also allowed to park in the juror parking lot as well. Early voting is open today from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Election day is next Tuesday. Remember, you're required to have your photo ID when you show up to vote. Greg County is seeing about 300 votes a day this week for early voting there, which ends, as we mentioned, today at the courthouse. Of course, the polls will be open from 7 to 7 for the runoff elections. The slate of campaigns in Greg County includes a runoff for Greg County Precinct 4, Justice of the Peace between Philip Burns and James Mathis. A Smith County Sheriff's deputy is involved in a wreck that sent another person to the hospital. DPS troopers were called to the Loop 49 and Old Jacksonville exit to investigate around 7 Thursday night. We're told the deputy was heading to a call when he crossed in front of a pickup truck. Troopers say the deputy may have thought the truck was going to stop because there was a stop sign in that area at one time, but that's not the case anymore. The driver of the pickup was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The accident is still under investigation. A big night for a group of four and five-year-olds as they graduate from the Niños de Promesa School. Yeah, take a look. More than 42 children walked the stage Thursday night in camping gowns. It happened during a ceremony at Tyler's First Baptist Church. The preschool helps the children learn English as a faith-based teaching environment, preparing them for elementary school and beyond. More than 98% of graduates passed the English proficiency test. Hmm. Let's get a look at your holiday weekend now, Scott. Clint, Dana, your Friday forecast getting ready to head into your extended holiday weekend. Temperatures soar into the upper 70s near 80 by lunchtime today. Ample sunshine, mostly sunny late today on your Friday with highs topping out near 86 back down to about 85 as you get ready to kickstart your a Memorial weekend. Here's what's going on weather wise. High pressure ridged out just to the east of us, extending from the north central part of the Gulf of Mexico all the way north into the northern high plains. It will continue to act as a blocking pattern or mechanism to all these thunderstorms and the scattered showers forming Dallas, Fort Worth and areas north and west. May see one or two of these clip our extreme northernmost Red River counties late this afternoon and this evening. Otherwise, high pressure reasserts itself all weekend long. We'll start with some early morning cloud cover on your Saturday and then mostly sunny skies latter part of the day. Same with Sunday and Monday now on Memorial Day. Highs all three days, rounding out in the mid 80s. A slight chance for isolated showers and storms late Monday night. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, our next best chance for rain. Hope you have a great weekend.